Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the rear wheel bearing and hub on a Honda S2000. Although it is relatively common for rear wheel bearings to fail on the Honda S2000, I'm replacing my rear wheel hub and bearing because I'm upgrading to Carcep's wheel hubs. Unless you have access to a 20 ton hydraulic press and the various tools required for this job, I highly recommend taking your wheel knuckle to your local mechanic to have the bearings pressed in and out. Anyway, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is remove the rear wheel knuckle. If you need help doing that, I've got videos that will be linked down below. The next thing you want to do is press out the old wheel hub. Setting up the wheel knuckle to press out the old wheel hub is the most awkward part of this whole process since the dust shield is in the way and it's hard to adequately support the wheel knuckle. You'll want to mount the wheel knuckle so that the outside of the wheel knuckle is facing down. The best way to do this is to insert one support plate underneath the caliper bracket mounts and insert the other support plate underneath the lower ball joint area. The support plates that come with the 20 ton Harbor Freight press work perfectly for this job. Before using the press to push out the old wheel hub, I recommend using the press to crush the dust shield against the wheel knuckle. Once the wheel knuckle is sitting flat, use something like a 1 and 3 16 inch socket to press the old wheel hub out. It's super important that the socket you use only applies pressure to the wheel hub and not the inner bearing race, since the bearing isn't going to move anywhere. Before you go and press out the old wheel bearing, you'll want to remove the snap ring that holds the wheel bearing in place. Use a set of snap ring pliers to squeeze the snap ring until it is small enough to be removed. You can use a screwdriver to help pry the snap ring out. Now you should be ready to press the old wheel bearing out. Mount the wheel knuckle on the press so that the outside of the wheel knuckle is facing down. Ideally, you'll want to mount the wheel knuckle on a metal sleeve that is wide enough to support the wheel knuckle and also the bearing to pass through. I'm using a metal sleeve and adapters that came in a front wheel bearing removal kit that I'll link in the description box down below. Insert an adapter that fits just on the wheel bearing and use a hydraulic press to push the wheel bearing out. I will note that it may take a shocking amount of force to get the bearing to initially break free. I was unable to break the original wheel bearing free with a 12 ton press and had to upgrade to a 20 ton press. Now it's time to install the new wheel bearing. Mount the wheel knuckle on the press so that the outside of the wheel knuckle is facing up. Again, you'll want to support the back side of the wheel knuckle using a metal sleeve. There are a couple of important things to keep in mind. When you press the new bearing into the knuckle, you'll want to press it such that pressure is applied to the outer race of the bearing. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that the bearing has two different sides, one with a rubber seal and one with a metal seal. The side with the rubber seal should be facing the outside of the wheel knuckle, while the side with the metal seal should be facing down towards the inside of the knuckle. Carefully press the new wheel bearing into the wheel knuckle while taking time to ensure it is going in straight. Press the wheel bearing into the wheel knuckle until it stops moving and you start feeling resistance. Before you press in the new wheel hub, you'll want to reinstall the snap ring that you removed earlier. Use a set of snap ring pliers to squeeze the snap ring until it is small enough to be installed into the wheel knuckle. Now you're ready to install the new wheel hub. Instead of supporting the back side of the wheel knuckle using a metal sleeve, you'll want to instead support the inner race of the wheel bearing instead. It is super important that the inner race of the wheel bearing is supported Otherwise, you can damage the wheel bearing and ruin this whole job. I personally use a 1 and 13 16 inch socket that I had lying around. Once the wheel knuckle is supported, insert the new wheel hub into place and stack an adapter on top of it. Carefully press the new wheel hub into the wheel knuckle while taking time to ensure it is going in straight. Press the wheel hub into the wheel knuckle until it stops moving and you start feeling resistance. 
Once the wheel hub is pressed in, you should be able to confirm it was done correctly by spinning the wheel hub by hand. The rotation should be quiet and smooth without any play. The last thing you want to do is reinstall the rear wheel knuckle. If you need help doing that, I've got videos that will be linked down below.